Well, this is a bad day to do a test because it's humid and the lens is... Yeah. So one of the main flaws for the Sony ZV-1 seems to be that it's kind of tight for vlogging purposes. I didn't necessarily get it for that, but I do like a wide angle lens. So I got me the newer, I think that's how you say it, it's a conversion lens. It's actually a two in one. It's a wide angle and a macro conversion lens, which gives you instead of 24 millimeters, about 18 millimeters. So in the box, you got the accessories, uh, which is pretty easy to set up. Of course, it comes with a mount that you attach to the ZV-1, and it comes with the lens, which is, like I said, it's two pieces. It's a macro and a wide angle. Put the lens on like, a, like you would do a traditional lens, and then you would have uh, extra attachment there. Now, there are some benefits, but we're gonna discover that. Let's find out. All right, here's a handheld test without the conversion lens, and then I'm gonna switch it over. Okay, so same distance, I'm holding it out the same. Uh, can you tell the difference? Can you see? Is it wider? I'm gonna do some vlogging tests and we'll see. We'll see what we think about this. Okay, I'm gonna try again to give my conclusion to this video. Uh, it's less humid today, but I, I'm also as late because I just got off work. I work 13 hour shifts, so give me a break. So there's two things about this conversion lens that I can see as a con. One, that they have a cheap alternative in the Ulanzi version. I don't particularly like the uh, adhesive that goes on the lens mount. That's why I didn't get that one. But this one is uh, $75 on Amazon. So that could be a con. It could be a little overpriced. The other thing is once you put this conversion lens onto this camera, then it's no longer pocketable. And that kind of also defeats the purpose. If you want to use this for vlogging, then you get, you're seeing it right now as I speak. Well, hopefully you see it. <laughs> hopefully the, the footage comes out good because of the low light. But you're seeing you know, the difference in the wide angle perspective. I turned the active stabilization off for this, but I'll turn it on just so you can get an idea of how that might look with this wide angle conversion lens. Okay, now I turned on the active stabilization, so you can see it cropped in a little bit, but I think this is still a decent width, so I think it's wide enough. I can do more footage once I have more free time. If you guys wanna see some more of that, make sure you subscribe for future content and other things camera related on this channel like this video if you like this video and stay tuned stay tuned and i'll see you guys on the next video peace